With the results now gathered from our post-analyzed bridge model, this video will focus on the Ashto LRFD code check capabilities of Larsa 4D Steel Bridge Module. Having originally selected steps A and B at the beginning of this tutorial, we'll open the Steel Bridge Module and check step C to perform code check within the module's main window, then click Next twice. Before the code check step begins, the module scans the model to check for any changes in the structure before going into the design part. Depending on the size of the structure and the refinement of the influence surfaces for live load, this may take several minutes. We'll first look at the result cases explore by clicking in Larsa 4D's environment and we can see the module automatically created a separate folder for the Ashdo LRFD result cases which are extracted from the results of the staged construction analysis. To begin code check, we'll return to the SteelBridge module's main code check window. Our first step is to check the mapping of the result cases to their Ashdo load classes. Because we did not introduce any load cases beyond what was created by the Steel Bridge module, the default mapping we see here will be sufficient to proceed with code check. If we had introduced additional load cases beyond those we entered within the Steel Bridge module, they will need to be mapped to Ashdo load classes in this step. Within the code check step, the Steel Bridge module calculates the non composite short-term composite, and long-term composite section properties, and then uses the appropriate one for the mapped result case. For example, the result cases that are mapped into DC1 will use the non-composite section properties to calculate the stresses, DC2 will use the long-term composite, and live load will use the short-term composite section properties. Custom load classes can also be defined by selecting the section property, which will be used to calculate the stresses in the custom load class. Clicking on the Load Factors tab, we can see that the load class combinations for strength, service, and construction strength limit states are predefined for Ashto LRFD, which can be modified if required. The Steel Bridge module finds the critical combinations for each of the listed strength, service, and construction categories, which will be used in the code check. With the load classes mapped and factors defined, we can now move forward to define the locations where the Steel Bridge module will perform code check. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll define one location near the pier along with the second location assigned at the mid-span, however the user can define as many locations as needed. To do this, we'll click on the Code Check Locations tab and define the first location at the mid-span of Girder 1, whose station is 335 feet, radius of curvature is 510 feet, Span length is 270 feet, and X frame spacing is 100 feet. In regard to the design moment field, this feature provides the flexibility to specifically perform negative or positive moment code check. Using the drop down menu, you can select the negative or positive moment, or if auto is selected, the module will automatically design the critical result combination. Let's leave the remaining fields as one within the rest of this row, which include the moment gradient modifier, the ratio of net area to gross area of the web, top flange and bottom flange, along with the effective slab width reduction ratio. The next location we'll enter for Girder 1 is located close to the pier and has a station of 465 feet, 
a radius of curvature of 510 feet, span length of 270 feet, and an X-frame spacing of 76 feet. Just as the first location, leave our design moment as auto and leave the remaining fields as one. The additional tabs for deck reinforcements, transverse, and longitudinal stiffeners in this window are for code check purposes only and not in the analysis model. If deck reinforcing is entered, the area of the top layer of the longitudinal reinforcement, or ART, must be entered per linear foot of the concrete deck width. The same holds true for columns defining CRT, ARB, and CRB, as detailed below. The last of the fields to define is the FR factor, which is used to calculate the modulus of rupture of concrete, as required by section 6.10.1.7 of the current AASHTO LRFD code. We'll leave this field as 0 0.24. If transverse stiffeners are included, one must designate if the stiffener is single-sided or double-sided within the type column, as well as if the stiffener is on the end panel or interior panel. If longitudinal stiffeners are included, the user must define if the stiffener is placed towards the center or away from the center. Moving on to the fatigue tab, we'll define two fatigue checkpoints where the flange is connected to the web by defining the distance from the top fiber of the top flange as one inch and the distance from the bottom fiber of the bottom flange as one inch. We'll next designate our detail category to become C prime, the annual daily truck traffic on a single lane, or ADTTSL, as 745 trucks per day, the stress range cycles per truck passage will be 1, and we'll leave a 75-year design life on our bridge. The last piece of information to enter in this spreadsheet is used to define deflection check. However, we will skip this feature in this tutorial. In accord with AASHTO LRFD code requirements, we must last select if the top and bottom flanges of our girders are discreetly or continuously braced. The top flange definition for our girder will automatically update to become continuously braced after the deck has been poured. With all the required information entered, we'll proceed to perform the code check and click Next twice. Once the code check completes, the general summary report will be displayed. This summary reports the following information. Girder properties for the top and bottom flanges, deck properties, haunch and reinforcing, followed by a second set of properties for the short and long-term composite properties for each girder at the specified stations. If we scroll down this report, we can also see the results for the girder longitudinal bending moment force the vertical shear force, the longitudinal stress for the top and bottom flanges, along with the forces for the top and bottom lateral stresses. Designed to support the most fickle of engineers, we can continue to scroll even further to read results for flexural resistance, section proportioning performance ratios, and lastly, the strength performance ratios. To view the full list of performance ratios, we can click the performance ratios tab on the left and view the tabulated results for equations, demands, capacities, and demand capacity ratios.
On the top of this window, we can use the sort drop-down menu to report the information based on the performance ratio. To go a step further than the summary report, click on the G1 girder tab to view the report for each station, which contains the checks based on Ashdo LRFD's formulas. At the bottom of this page, the full list of failed checks can be seen written line by line. As seen on the left hand of this report, we can see that every section displays the equation number for Ashdo LRFD. For example, we have the girder and station along with the elements which make up the composite state of the girder. Clicking on the verbose summary report link, the module's most detailed report contains the line-by-line -line computations that follow the design code with references to the equation number used from within Ashdo LRFD. As we scroll down this report, we see the forces and moments, section properties, flange stresses for strength, limiting properties, strength, section proportioning, flange stress, and shear in web for constructability, serviceability checks, fatigue, and deflection, among others, are all included within this report. If printed, this report would typically contain 25 pages of computation for a single station. With Ashto LRFD code check fully integrated into the program, Lars's steel bridge module allows our users to optimize the design for safer bridges while saving time and reducing costs through the use of a single software that permits refined analysis and detailed code check. To learn more about the steel bridge module or to request a hands-on trial license to Larsa 4D, please feel free to call us or to visit our website at www.larsa4d.com.